Now the question comes. Kama hivyo ndivyo. Maswali yanakuja kwamba Do these ECE preschools or centers qualify to prepare children with the quality education for the entrance in, pri in primary school? Kwamba hizi center na hizi pre-primary classes kwenye shule zetu za msingi za serikali na kwenye vituo vya watu binafsi kwamba zina qualify ku provide au kumwandaa mtoto with the quality education ili kuingia darasa la kwanza Na je, since we are talking of quality education, is the right of a child for his or her development. Where should we start to focus? Either at ECE or pre-primary education or upper levels of education. Tumekuwa na mjadala hapa, tunajadiri kwamba Quality education, quality education. We have been talking about the curriculum modification, curriculum change, aiming to have quality education. Sasa, tunapojadiri, na I remember in the, in the first presentation, tuikuwa tunazumumzia output. Kwamba hawa wanao is production nazo towa kule vio viku. kwamba wengine hawa qualify kwenye labor market na kwamba wengine wao wenyewe ule zile soft skills na vitu kama hivi sasa tunakuja kujadili mjadala wa quality education kule juu badala ya kujadili mjadala wa quality education kuanzia huko chini kwamba samaki mkunja ngari mbichi sasa sisi tunamkunja samaki ambaye ameshakauka. That's why the, the, the question comes. Where do we need to focus when we talk of the quality education? ATEC? I mean pre-primary level or at the upper level? Do we do we really mean quality education when we talk of the provision of is in Tanzania? Ukiwangalia mtala, if you, if you look at the document of curriculum, ya yerufumbiri na kumina sita, ambaye meunganisho na sila basi yake. The document is very good. And the document has talked many things. Ambavyo vikitekelezwa, kwa kweli we can talk and we can have quality education sasa when we talk of ECE in Tanzania do we talk of quality education au tunazungumza tu kwamba ili mnadi tutimize na sisi tuonekane tunatoa quality education tunatoa tunatoa eh, eh, pre primary education this is the question So to address these questions to address this question this paper has come to analyze issues basing on these areas kwamba unapozungumza sasa quality education katika preprimary lazima kwanza tuangalie the relevance of this ECE in the context of Tanzania Tunapo izungutu, tuyangalie kwanza hii ECE enyewe katika jamii ya Tanzania, katika Tanzania enyewe. 
And then the stakeholders awareness and participation in ECE. Kwamba wadau ambao tuna wazazi eh, na makundi mengine are they aware and if they are aware do they participate kwa sababu kuna kule kuwa, kule kuelewa kwamba tunapaswa kuwapeleka watoto shule lakini kuna upande wa pili tunashiriki kikamilifu inavyostahili tunatimiza yale yanayopaswa kufanyika kama stakeholders do we play our role enough because when we talk of ECE iko nyumbani and it is also at the school and also when we want to talk about the quality about the quality education at pre primary education we need also to to to, to to talk about the issue of curriculum and the pedagogy. Here we want to talk about tunataka kuzungumza tunataka kuzungumza pre primary education. Habari ya walimu ikoje? Habari ya ufundishaji wenyewe kule ikoje? Kama huu ndio msingi as it has been said in the curriculum but if we want to have quality education at the upper levels, the area which you are supposed to first concentrate on is at pre-primary education. Sasa, as it has been discussed in the, the previous uh, presentation, kwamba tunapuzungumza mchawi wa elimi ya Tanzania, we talk of um, a teacher. Sasa inabitu wanze kuangalia huku chini. Kama huko ndiko msingi, do we have the qualified teachers? And how, they, how do they teach? And then the issue of police and advocates. Now coming to see the first area of concentration as we talk of the uh, issue of ECE in the context of Tanzania. The Tanzania, like other countries, has ratified various UN conventions on the rights and welfare of the child which consider ECE as a fundamental right of every child. His convention zote zinasisitiza elimu ya awali kama haki ya msingi ya mtoto na kama msingi wa maendeleo ya mtoto kwa maisha yake ya baadaye Tanzania has introduced its e curriculum and syllabus which its focus is on building competence which will help children to master learning process in primary school and other levels of education. Kwa hiyo mtala wenyewe unaeleza kabisa kwamba elimu ya awali ndiyo msingi wa maendeleo ya kitaaluma na maendeleo kwa ujumla ya mtoto ya baadaye. But when we come to the reality, ECE in the context of Tanzania is still not yet managed and operating as an autonomy level of education like other levels. Tunasungumza sana, tunasema elimu ya awali, elimu ya awali. Lakini kienda kule kwenye field, Up. So. Ukienda kule kwenye firidi Elimu ya awali 
ni kama ni kama kitu ambacho kimeanzishwa utafikiri kabla ya maandalizi For instance I did a research which based on assessing the quality provision of uh, early childhood education in different centers and the pre-primary uh, pre schools in in uh, in Mbea. I found many things Kule mashuleni Hakuna madalasa. There, there were, no, there were no, no specific classrooms just for easy learners. Hakuna shule nyingi. Madalasa yanayotumika kufundishia dalasa la saba. Ndiyo hayo hayo yanayotumika kufundishia hawa watoto wa awali. Na hata yale madalasa ambayo ya metengwa. Kwa shule nyingi. Ha, ndani hakuna ile attractive learning environment madarasa ya tunayofundishia watoto wa awali ni tofauti na madarasa tunayofundishia hawa wengine lazima mle ndani kuwe na toy kuwe na na, na, na picha za kutosha eh, kuwe na mazingira ambayo sio hatarishi lakini shule nyingi ukienda Ndiyo sababu nasema kwamba istiri not yet managed and operating as an autonomy. Imewekwa im, im tu kama vile ni, ni ilimladi sasa ilimladi tu kwamba eh, ni utaratibu umeweka eh, we ratified the eh, UN conventions and we agree of the goals and whatever na sisi tuwe na 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 na, na tuonekane kwamba tuna tuna practice Kwa hata zile ambazo wametenga kwamba haya ni madarasa kwa ajili ya ya, ya pre-primary. Hakuna attractive environment. Watoto wanataka wakifika darasani wakute kuna vitu ambavyo vinawavutia wao ku, kuendelea kuwepo darasani. Wakute kuna vitu ambavyo wakienda nyumbani the reflection inaendelea ya kule shuleni. Sasa kama darasa lina madawati tu Mtoto akisha ondoka shule amekuta akisha rudi nyumbani nako kule nyumbani kwa sababu tunasema when we talk of uh, early childhood education tunazungumza mazingira ya nyumbani na tunazungumza kule shule na sasa kwa sababu jamii yetu sisi wa, wa Tanzania hatuna yale man, hatuna yale ma, hatuna utamaduni kwamba mazingira pia, pia ya nyumbani yawe ni mazingira ambayo yanamfanya mwanafunzi aendelee mtoto aendelee kujifunza Kwa mtoto kisha ondoka shule Na shule ni kwenye ametoka Hakuna kitu ambacho kina muatrakti Kwa shule imeishia Imeishia pale Ndiyo sababu kesho kimamisha amuka nenda shule Hana morali, hana kitu kinacho mvuta Hana kwenye, kwenye mindset yake Hana kitu nacho kumbuka kwamba I must go to school Kwa you can see in the context of, When we, we, we talk on the context of Tanzania Eh, hayo ndiyo mazingira ambayo tunayo Kwa, When we talk of ECE In the Tanzanian community Tunayo Naweza nikasema tunayo ili mladi tu Ule uhalisi wenyewe And I said if you read the document The curriculum And the syllabus The document is very very good and has talked many things which if they are implemented we can have quality education not only at the pre-primary school even to the upper levels now coming to the stakeholders awareness and participation is it that according to the relatives of the government parents are aware that they are supposed to send their children at pre-primary schools or centers. Parents are aware that this is the ongoing activities in our country. Kwamba kila mzazi lazima pereke mtoto shule. Yawali. They are aware. 
But when we talk of the actual participation, the full participation according to the demands of the curriculum, most of the Tanzanian parents are not fully participating in ECE. Few parents, especially the educated ones, they are the ones who have the tendency to visit the schools and, the communi and the communicate with the teachers to know the learning progress of their children. Kwa ukienda kule mashuleni, ule uhusika wenyewe wa, 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 wa wazazi. Ni mdogo sana. Wazazi wanaofuatilia wanaoweza kufuatilia maendeleo ya watoto, watoto wao, kwenda kuangalia mazingira ya kule kule shuleni. Wengi wao ni wale ambao kidogo wanaonekana wameenda shule. Lakini wale ambao hawajaenda shule, wao wametekeleza tu lile ule utaratibu kwamba tupeleke watoto wakaanze chekechea kabla wajaanza primary. Coming the issue of curriculum and pedagogy. Hapa kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo we can stick on. Lakini nitazungumza mambo mawili tu. The role of technology in ECE as one of the initial pedagogy. Literature shows that the use of technology in ECE programs is controversial. Hapa kuna ukinzani wa mitazamo na pozungumzia ufundishaji wa watoto hasa hawa wa awali tunapozungumzia matumizi ya teknolojia na sasa it is true kwamba we are in the science and technology development every corner of the world hii ndio habari kwamba teknolojia matumizi ya teknolojia na kwamba hakuna namna we can escape from the use of technology there is a group of those who do not support and those who support the use of technology in teaching and learning process in uh, early childhood education programs. Kuna makundi mawi. We have a group of those who support. And we have a group of those who do not support. Those who do not support the use of technology in ECE programs according to literature, give these reasons. That computers have advanced software components which are very hard to be understood by learners due to their low level of understanding capacity. Kwamba, computer ni ngumu sana ina software ambazo si urahisi sana kuzielewa kuringana na uwezo wao wa kuelewa vitu wale watoto. The second reason that environmental backgrounds of learners that learners especially those who come from areas where technology is not yet advanced are said to be more vulnerable to technological means of learning process compared to those who come from where technology is already advanced. Kwamba wa sababu ya kimazingira Kuna sababu ya ugumu wa teknolojia yenyewe na kwamba kuna sababu ya e, mazingira. Kwamba wale wanaotoka kwenye mazingira ambayo ni, ni bado hayajaendelea. For instance when you talk of the rural areas. Kwamba unapozungumza tutumie teknolojia ya 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 te, tutumie tehama mazingira yao yenyewe hayaruhusu kutumia tehama mazingira yenyewe bado teknolojia kwao ni msamiati K 
can we talk of the use of ICT? For instance, in the Tanzanian context, according to somebody, Tandika, who did the research, he found that the material itself is uncommon in most of families, especially in rural areas. Kwamba, vifavi yenyewe, material yenyewe, is uncommon. Who condone that? Sasa, if we want to talk of the use of ICT in early childhood education in the context of Tanzania, who support the use of ICT in, 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 in pre-primary programs, they have their reasons. But nowadays, there is a, a huge resource of information is stored and transmitted in electronic form. Kwamba kila kitu tunachozungumza kiko kwenye, kwenye electronic form. So the dissemination of information is sometimes difficult or impossible without the assistance of ICT's devices. Kwamba hatuna namna kwamba kila kitu kipo kwenye electronic devices. The second... The use of ICT in early education increased the higher learning motivation. Participation of pupils in educational curricula and extracurricular activities, which create a higher order thinking capacity. Kwamba matumizi ya ICT kwa watoto, kwamba ya naongeza ile learning motivation, kwamba ya naongeza ushiriki wa watoto, katika shughuli mbalimbali wanapokuwa wako darasani na wanapokuwa wako nje ya darasa they also suggest the use of ICT to implement EC program through the what they call emergent curriculum kwamba inawezekana kwamba cha msingi itumike emergent curriculum the curriculum that develops from exploring what is relevant, interesting, and personal meaning to children. Wamba ni mtala ambao unamtegemea una mtoto. Unatengenezwa basing on what is in the chart, what is practiced by the chart, the experience, the life experience of a chart. The topics of interest that emerge are often linked to, uh, to children's play, their experience at home, community events, and the priorities that emerge from conversation between children, children and teacher, and teachers, parents, and other partners. Kwamba msingi wa mtala huu, napata kuzungumza sasa kwamba, napata kuzungumza ICT, tuende kule kwa watoto, tuwa study watoto, tuoni vitu gani wanapenda, ambavyo tunaweza tukatengeneza sasa kumtala according to them sio ile tunasema kwamba tunataka kutengeneza mtala wanaotengeneza mtala wako ofisini hata wadau wenyewe ambao ndio wahusika wa mtala wanakuwa wakati mwingine hawahusishwi coming the government of Tanzania when we talk of the use of ICT the government of Tanzania agreed that the development of science and technology, especially ICT, has brought changes in teaching and learning. Kwa hiyo serikali inakuwa upande wa watu wanaosupporti kwamba tutumie eh, mtala wa ICT. Tutumie ICT kwenye pre-primary education. Kwamba maendeleo ya sayansi na teknolojia yamereta mabadiliko katika ufundishaji na ujifunzaji that's why the government emphasizes in the curriculum and the syllabus that there is a need of having a curriculum which demonstrate the use of ICT in this ICE as we are living in a technological advancing world kwamba there's no way out we can escape from integrating this ICT in 
the teaching and the learning process of the early childhood education. And the argument is that as we are living in the technological advancing world, the use of technological devices in ECE programs is inevitable. But in Sasa, ni muhimu for the education planners and the policy makers to think on this curricula mambayo inanzia kule kwa watoto. Lakini pia kutraini walimu on the use of technology wanapo wafundisha hawa watoto ukuchini. Tunatengeneza mitala lakini wakati mgeni tunakuwa bado watuja wanda wale wanao tekeleza mitala yenyewe. We introduce things but we do not prepare effectively those who are going to implement things. Another thing is teacher education and uh, ECE, as we're talking of curriculum and uh, pedagogy. The literature shows uh, uh, that uh, there is a need to invest in intensive teacher education and uh, training in order for teachers to deliver high quality outcomes, especially when you talk of this level. Wamba, ni muhimu sana tuweze kuinvesti kwenye walimu, kwenye mafunzo, ili kuwa na walima mbao anaweza wakatoa Eh, elimu nzuri yenye matokeo mazuri hasa tunapozungumzia pre primary classes kama msingi wa elimu zingine lakini tofauti na hivyo na msistizo huo katika study yangu niliyofanya nilibaini kwamba most of teachers were not professionally educated to provide ECE Most of them were those who failed from four. I mean, secondary, secondary uh, uh, education. Lakini wengi wao walikuwa hata, hata cause. Wengi wao walionekana hata kule kuhuzulia vile vikozi kwenye hivi view ambavyo vina, vina, vina fundisha short causes za, za early childhood education. Wengi wao hata hawakuwa wameattend. Na hasa hii ilionekana kwenye zile private eh, ECE centers. Kuna vituo vingi sana mtala unasema kwamba vituo vyote vimesajiliwa. Lakini kuna vituo vingi sana vinaopaleti wala vingine hata havijasajiliwa kwa maana ya cooperate effectively kama inavyotakiwa lakini watoto wanapelekwa kule wanajifunza na mwisho wa siku wanaambiwa waende sawa but when in, in, but in, 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 in the government uh, schools ilionekana kwamba walimu wengi wanaofundisha Madalasa yale ya juu anafundisha darasa la sita, darasa la ngapi darasa haya madarasa ya primary we ndio waliokuwa pia wanafundisha haya madarasa ya awali hatuka kukuwa na walimu wa kutosha ambao wanafundisha e, ambao wamesomea hii pre primary education early childhood education kufundisha yale madarasa na it is said that there are 80% of teachers in pre primary education who professionally qualified to teach this early childhood education. If you go there in the field, most of these pre primary classrooms are overcrowded and they're under resourced. The average student to teacher ratio in, prim in pre primary schools is mia moja kwa moja. Mali moja watoto mia moja. Lakini ratio ambayo imekuwa suggested ni kwamba at least kwa kila dalasa kuwe na walimu wawili kwa ratio ya 125. So being the case when we talk of the ECE we need to have well educated well trained professionals as the key in providing a high quality education. Now on the when we talk of the policy and advocacy, the sticking on the issue of children protection and safeguarding, 
The main concern on child protection and safeguarding in relation to EC rests on the way teaching and learning environments help to protect and safeguard them as they learn. Kwa mbunabu zungumzia mazi kumlinda mtoto katika teaching and learning. Katika early childhood education, tunazungumzia kwenye teaching and learning. Kwa mba mazingira yenye ya ufundishaji yale. Ya namlinda mtoto. Eh? Kwenye shule moja. Vyo. Virikuwa ni, vir, virikuwa ni, ni, ni vyo ambavyo kwa kweli wale watoto wadogo. Wakienda kule. Yani unauhakia kabisa kwa mba hapa magonjwa. They are going to be their friends. Koyo, tunapozungumzia kumlinda mtoto kwenye ile ECE, tunazungumzia learning and uh, teaching and learning environments. Are they favorable? Are they protecting wale watoto? Now, the financing of ECE. Pre-primary education provides the highest return on investment of all education subsectors. Yet, it receives the smallest share of government expenditure compared to primary Et, eh, secondary and tertiary education kwamba tunapozungumzia masuala ya financing haya kwamba ile share inayotolewa kwenye kwenye early childhood education ni kidogo sana capitation zinatolewa lakini concentration kubwa inakuwa kwenye upande wa primary huku inakuwa tu ni kama ni kama extra so tunapozungumzia access to quality education uh, kuna strategy zime zinaendelea zina zinafanyika lakini bado tunazungumza kwamba ile access yenyewe ya quality education Eh, programs na services in Tanzania bado hai haikidhi kwa hiyo kwenye conclusion nasema kwamba tunapozungumzia quality education ni msingi wa the future of every child so a good future schooling of, uh, of children depends on the quality education they get from early ages the environment for the provision of ECE are still not favoring the intended quality ECE. Uh, regarding ECE at home and uh, school, improving teaching and learning environment for the provision of ECE to favor the intended quality education on these early ages, ensuring enough and well trained pra uh, practitioners at this particular level and good financing system of uh, the program at this particular level. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Noel. Uh, members, good morning. Uh, it is another time that we we need to um, digest what he presented to us. Uh, the topic is very very important, and as he said, it's it's, it's one of those uh, relevant topics. Uh, he focused on questions of relevance of ECE in Tanzanian context, stakeholders' awareness, issues of curriculum and pedagogy, and issues of policy. Uh, according to what he found, uh, relevance, he said uh, Tanzania has ratified Convention on the Rights of the Children, and for that matter, it uh, takes uh, I mean, on papers, on blueprint, it takes uh, seriously provision of ECE, but however, it is not well managed. And he says um, parents are aware, 
they are sending their children to ECE, but uh, and there is actually a requirement as a preparatory for primary education, but uh, in those schools, uh, there are no specific classrooms for, for these children, and he elaborated on that. I'm sure you people would be would be um, would discuss in details in your in in your groups later. Uh, he also talked about uh, curricula. He said we do have curricula, uh, and also there is an element of uh, use of ICT in curriculum. It's either encouraged or discouraged. Uh, there are supporters and non-supporters, but government is only part of the supporters. Uh, the emphasis is on uh, using curriculum that emerges from children uh, themselves. He also so he he really uh, focused on uh, the challenges facing ECE and the most challenge is um, the preparation of teachers that we have people teaching children one of the uh, serious uh, uh, shortcomings is that uh, ECE is predominantly uh, provided in there are centers there are centers are preschool centers or uh, daycare centers that are predominantly managed by private uh, people and you don't really see, you see that the uh, uh, teachers that are teaching these children in those centers, even in uh, government pre-primary schools, these, these are, most, are mostly not qualified to teach uh, the uh, uh, early childhood. And he also gave us an alarming ratio, child teacher ratio, the standard is 1 to 25, but on average we have 1 to, uh, one to 100, which is really, really uh, on a very high side. And he said uh, most of these schools are overcrowded. Uh, in terms of policy, the policy says children should be protected and safeguarded, uh, but financing of reaching those is really mostly done by private. And conclusion, he said, uh, quality education in early childhood in Tanzania is doubtful. And he gave recommendation uh, to parents, to um, teachers, to policymakers, and he said, uh, mostly, we really need to have good financing system of having uh, early childhood uh, education in place. Um, I think uh, generally this is uh, what I would say, but my question to uh, you, uh, Dr. Noel, is when you talk of parents' participation, you said parents are aware, but they are not fully participating. What do you mean by full participation? because parents have already sent their children to school, and yes, it is important for parents to be, uh, to be fully involved, but it takes two to tango. Are the school systems ready to involve parents in the process of education to, uh, educating children? Thank you very much. We will take, because we have already taken too much time, we can take three questions and then he will answer and maybe move to the next uh, presentation. We will start with uh, Sir there, the lady here, and Sir over there. Onyango.
I surely like it when I get baptism every now and then. Uh, but my question, my first, thank you very much, Doctor, for your presentation on a, one of the very, very important subjects on ECE. E, 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 but my first question, have you ever thought of high unit cost? What would it cost the government in terms of improving the quality of ECD in this country? But number two, I've heard you uh, generalizing some of the conclusion, saying most, I just want to hear how many were interviewed, at what percent, rather than seeing most of the teachers, most of the students, most of the schools that were visited, said something. Uh, lastly, uh, with regard to private ECEs, the cost is more than what a student in a university college is spending in terms of tuition fee. There are those that goes up to three million, four million, five million, six million. What's your perspective about that? Thank you. Good morning to everyone. Thanks for a nice presentation. But I would like to ask you, what strategy have we made to make sure that the parents understand their role in facilitating pre-primary school? Because as we know that most of the basic characteristics of a child, according to Jane Piaget, psychoanalytic model, say that most of the basic characteristics of a child are formed during the first years of life. And the first years of life are the ones that we send child to the pre-primary school. And this needs contribution both of teachers and parents too, and those who surround the child. But you say they are aware, but they aren't participating. Have we found why they are aware and they aren't participating? Maybe they don't know what are the roles they have to play so to facilitate their child in pre-primary learning. So we have to, maybe you can tell us what strategies have we made to ensure that these parents understand their roles in facilitating their child in pre-primary learning. Thank you. Asante. Asante daktari kwa wasilisho zuli. Wote tunafamu muhimu wa elimi ya awali, lakini nafikili tunamaeneo ma tatu manene ya msingi. Lazima tuyangalie sana tunapuangalia wekezaji kwenye sekta hii ya elimu ya awali. Jambo la kwanza, kwa mjina kuangalia kwenye weledi na umahiri wa walimu. Lazima tuangalie pia uwezo na uwepo wa wasaidizi wa walimu sehemu kubwa ya shule za umma hazina wale teacher assistants wale wasaidizi wa walimu ambao lazima wao karibia kila darasa hilo jambo la msingi sana lakini jambo la pili ambalo la msingi sana kwenye uwekezaji ni miundo mbinu ya elimu ya awali mimi mwaka huo nilifanya na, nilipata nafasi ya kushiriki zoezi la kufanya tathmini ya miradi ya, ya sekta ya elimu nchini iliyo ratibiwa na wizara ya elimu Tulipita sehemu kubwa ya tulifanya mikoa sita nafikiri. Nyinyi ilikwenda mkoa wa Ruvuma wilaya ya Mbinga. Sehemu kubwa ya madarasa tuliyokuta yalikuwa hayana sakafu. Madarasa yalikuwa hayana madirisha na kumbukeni haya ni maeneo yenye baridi. Na tunazungumza elimu ya awali na mwanadamu mtoto kuwa na utayari wa shule. Sasa shule ipi ambayo inampa mateso kuanzia siku ya kwanza? Eh? So kwa lazima tuangalie vitu hivi kama hivyo. Lakini jambo la, la, la tatu ambalo la msingi pia ni ulinzi na usalama wa watoto safety and security sehemu kubwa ya shule za binafsi tumewekeza sana kwenye haya maeneo na ndio maana financing model yake ni kubwa package yake ni kubwa kwa sababu lazima umpe assurance mwa mzazi kwamba mwanae yuko safe na secure in terms of health nutrition yake na support systems nyingine lakini jambo la mwisho ambalo lazima tuliangalie ni kwa jaribu kuangalia takwimu uh, percentage kisekta kisekta elimu ya awali inachukua asilimia kumi ya total enrollment ya wanafunzi wote nchini 
elimu ya msingi inachukua asilimia sabini ya wanafunzi wote wanaokuwa enrolled nchini wakati elimu ya sekondari ni asilimia nne. kwa ukiangalia mtoto 94% ni kuanzia elimu ya awali hadi elimu ya sekondari and then wanaofuata hapo ni only 6% sasa tujiulize financing system yetu inaangalia huo uiano na bahati mbaya tumechukua elimu ya awali na msingi tumeziunga katika mfumo wa financing kama tungejua kwamba 10% ya mfumo ya, ya total enrollment ya elimu ya awali maana yake total budget 10% nayo ingeenda kwenye nini kwenye elimu ya awali we are not doing that kwa hiyo lazima sisi kama watu ambao tunafanya advocacy sasa tujaribu kwenda na takwimu na moja ya changamoto tunayoiona kwenye elimu ya awali ni takwimu hizi natudanganya mimi mwaka huu mwezi wa kumi nilishiriki wasilisho mmoja World Bank tunazungumzia ending ending poverty uh, ending learning poverty na tunazungumza kwenye umuhimu wa elimu ya awali nchini na tulizungumza tukagundua kwamba kadili ya takwimu inaonyesha mwalimu mmoja ambaye ni qualified kwa sasa anahudumia wanafunzi 154 wewe umezungumza mwalimu mmoja kwa wanafunzi mia hapa na best ya 2018 inasema mwalimu mmoja anazungumza anahudumia walimu 88 sasa tunajidanganya hizi takwimu zote zinatudanganya hizi na ndio maana hatuandai walimu kwa sababu huyu anatuambia hiki huyu anatuambia hiki ni kwa natamani mtu amesema ingekuwa atoe clarification sababu best ni ya kwao wewe una takwimu best una takwimu watu wa world bank walitoa takwimu mwezi wa kumi. so we need also to look at the database zetu na ili ziweze kuinform policy makers wakati mwingine tunakuwa misinformed katika kufanya maamuzi asante is financing as you have said and nilitaka uh, kuuliza kwa sababu watu wa wizara na tamisemi hapo watatusaidia kidogo katika ile if the capitation grant wa primary wana wana count kwa kila mwanafunzi a pre primary schools children involved in that capitation grant or it is just taken only for primary because you have said it is given a priority with a small amount which kind of small amount are you speaking exactly um lakini hili la teacher ratio na wanafunzi kweli imekuwa ni swala ambalo sasa linakuwa changamoto katika research mbalimbali leo nilikuwa nasoma utafiti mmoja wa wamefanya 2017 wa education international and and teachers Tanzania teachers union wenyewe wanafanya chamber and and mpwapo and they've come to conclusion of 1 to 78 kwa mwalimu mmoja wanafunzi 78 sasa nafikiri na yuaratiri serikali yenyewe mwaka 70 2016 ilitoa 1 to 177 kwa hiyo unaweza kaona fluctuations hizi zilizopo inaonekana seriousness on exactly understanding the number of pre primary school children that we have and the professional teachers that we have is a challenge However hapajakuwa na, 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 na kutambua kwamba preprimary ni, ni, ni independent uh, organ ambayo kimsingi inahitaji kupata walimu wanaotakiwa kuajiriwa and therefore it is a high time for the government when they are thinking on the employment of teachers to have a special consideration on teachers who have specialized in early childhood but mbaya Uh, miaka iliyopita kidogo tulitaka ku introduce diploma in pre primary education something of which i don't understand the kind of a death that is is going to die so baadaye imefutwa katika baadhi ya vivyo walimu lakini kuna vyo vikuu vinatoa pre primary education and at, at university level including the university of dar es salaam the university of dodoma and the current the university of dodoma i think is going to do very well as students that have been enrolled now curriculum yao imechange sio kuwafundisha tena masomo kama vile wanaenda kufundisha secondary ila inawafundisha literacy and numerous it all related to to pre primary i feel tunapotaka kufanya ajira zingine tujaribu ku consider at least kwa ajili wa specifically not just to primary schools but go to teach to pre primary 
classes. Infrastructure is also another challenge. I don't like to ask a question. Okay. Niongelee kidogo kwenye vio. Vio vya watoto na wakubwa. I'm finishing. How did you look about the issue of toilets in, in, in the pre-primary classes? Because I found it being spoken in general. Thank you. Sante. Um, na mi kwa sababu natemeza mic, let me uh, make my contribution. Since, since financing education is seen as something that we cannot achieve with the resources we have at the moment, why don't we ask our president? Because when, once he has decided, it will happen. He said, we are going to Dodoma, and today we are in Dodoma. Let him make a statement. All the ministers, all the MPs, district officials, government officials, to take out their children from private schools to government schools. And you will see how much funds are going to go to, to improve public sector. Uh, thank you. Um, I think we will ask him to respond to, you don't have to respond to each and every one, just give us uh, a sketch of what you can respond. But I would, uh, I would like to give ourselves a challenge. It is really a challenge to us if we are talking of quality education to be focusing on what it takes to, uh, to maintain or to assure quality. And uh, this is not necessarily the question for the presenter, but I would, I would like to ask who is responsible for quality assurance of early childhood in Tanzania? since we have the private sector mostly running it, and uh, do we have a, a quality assurance body for that level? Because we do have daycare centers, we do have uh, pre-primary schools that are privately run. And uh, the issue of uh, uh, pupil-teacher ratios, we have seen at all levels and we really have paid, um, we have been doing a disservice to knowing overcrowding of classrooms, overcrowding of classrooms at pre-primary uh, schools, in primary schools, in uh, secondary schools, in tertiary schools, in higher education, and we have been complacent. And we know uh, we, are, we won't have time to undo the damage that we are doing by uh, paying little attention to uh, practices that are really affecting quality. Thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, good questions and uh, comments. Let me start by the last one, the last comment. It, 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 it was a comment, at the same time it was a question that who are the quality assurers for the ECE. The curriculum has directed that the first person is a head of school and then he extends the parents wa eh? Then he anakuja afsailimu wa wilaya, afsailimu wa mkoa, and then to the ministry level. Also, for the private, it has uh, directed that wale wa miriki, now pia ni quality assurance. Kwa hiyo, for the case of quality assurance, you can see that kalibu kila mdau ni, 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 ni quality assurance. Wa, 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 wa he is he. Habari ya raisi atoe tamuko wanafikiri kama wapo wanao mpeleke wa mesikia. Singine zilikuwa ni 
We are just comments. There was a question that capitation grants in our husu na wale wa primale. Brother there has said kwamba this is he has tied to the primary school. Kwa hiyo wanapotoa ile capitation grant it is not specified ile wanatoa kwa ajili ya primary. Sasa mkuu wa shule ndiye anayeangalia sasa kwamba hiki atenge kwa ajili ya iwe ni subset kwa ajili ya ya ya, ya, ya primary na ina hii ni kwa ajili ya isi. Sasa fedha zenyewe zinazotolewa hata kwenye primary hazitoshi. Kwa hiyo hawezi kushughulika kwa, kwa kushughulika na hawa wa ECE badala kushughulika na wale wa darasa la saba na darasa la 4 ambao mwisho wa siku ndo kupimwa kwake utendaji wake wa kazi unapimwa kwamba wamefaulu wa darasa la 4 au wa darasa la saba kwa hawezi kushughulika kwa roketi huku kwenye huku kwa wadogo huko na bila ashughulike kwa wale ambao mwisho wa siku atapimwa kwao mm. The issue of environment. That what should we do to help parents? This is the role that should be prepared, uh, should be played by the government and the CSO. Kutoa semina kwa wazazi, eh, kuandama kongamano, kuandaa E, semi na mbalimbali kwa kuwasaidia wazazi kuwa e, kuonyesha ni namna gani wanaweza waka 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 toa ushiriki this goes alongside the question that kwamba tuna maana gani tunapozungumzia participation kama wako aware kuwa aware it is not that you fully participate participation it is very broad that's why i said we are talking of the home environment and the school environment parents are sending their children there to school they do not go there to make follow up of the progress of their uh, learning they are aware they have sent them to school sasa ushiriki unahitaji una vitu vingi sana. They are aware kwamba serikali imetoa tamko awapeleke watoto shule. Lakini wanawapeleka watoto shule kuna ule ushiriki wenyewe. Mazingira ya nyumbani yanapashwa wazazi wao wameelimishwa wajue kwamba mtoto akitoka shule shule pia inaendelea nyumbani. Kulingana na umri huu wa mtoto kwamba kitoka shule kama kuna vitu ambavyo vimemattract basi nyumbani pia anapa kute midoli akute kuna vitu vile vile alivyokuwa anavikuta kule shuleni akute kuna picha kuna nini kwa hiyo every time he or she is learning eh is enjoying the school life kwa akiwa shule akiwa nyumbani he feel that is he or she is learning eh other questions kuna swali nasema kwamba the perception kwamba wazazi wanawapeleka watoto shule sijui kama nilielewa sawa kwamba they send their children to school especially to nursery schools shule zinakuwa na mamilioni ya fedha sawa sawa na na na, na nursery kwamba nini mtizamo na and this is the challenge watoto wa, wazazi wanawapeleka watoto shule za za awali hasa tuseme za private with a very high cost wanasoma wa, wanamaliza baadaye wakija chuo kikuu wakati mwingine unakuta watoto hao hao wa, wa, wazazi wanawaacha wana, wanaacha kulipa ada wana wanawaingiza kwenye ile ya bodi ya mikopo huku chini wa, wame 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 investi kwa kutumia hera nyingi lakini hata hivyo in the, in the community of Tanzania sio wote wanao wapeleka kwenye hizi shule ambazo ni, ni zina, zinatumia gharama kubwa wazazi walio wengi 
watoto wao wako kwenye hizi pre primary education ambazo nyingi ni za serikali kwa sababu zinakuwa gharama ni kidogo ni wazazi wachache wanaowapeleka kwenye shule ambazo zina gharama kubwa uh, because of time other questions and suggestions i have taken them thank you Thank you very much, Dr. Noel. Uh, please give him a more round of applause. I would like to give um, preferential um, opportunity to a government. If you are a government person, uh, there were questions that were asked here, and we need at least clarification. Uh, in, in, uh, especially on uh, statistics. Please uh, help us with, with that one. And maybe the financing, because we do have a major, um, major stakeholder in pre-primary education is uh, the government. So, any government? Okay, two, two right? grant kumbukeni ile pre primary kwa government hatuna shule ila tuna darasa la elimu la awali kwenye shule kwa hiyo wale watoto ni ni, ni sehemu ya, ya shule kwa hiyo capitation grant zinapokuwa zinaletwa watoto wote wako counted watoto wote wamehesabiwa kama watoto wako mia saba manake kuanzia darasa la awali mpaka darasa la saba na capitation grant inapokuja inakuja kuwalenga watoto wale wote kwa hiyo mahitaji yao yanazingatiwa hilo la kwanza lakini la pili kwamba udhibiti ubora wa shule ni nani kumbukeni kuna udhibiti ubora wa shule sawa alipoelezea mwasilishaji kwamba kuna mkuu wa shule kuna nani lakini kumbuka kuna hawa ambao ni kazi yao ya kila siku kazi yao sio tu ni darasa la kwanza mpaka la saba si mpaka kidato cha sita au vio vya walimu lakini vile vile wanaangalia vile vile namna mazingira ufundishaji na ujifunzaji wa watoto wa madarasa ya awali katika shule zetu za za, za msingi za, za, za binafsi na za na za serikali asante sana asante <coughs> naona naona kiongozi ameshajibu labda mimi siko ni yangu sio kujibu kutoa majibu ya zile yale maswali nataka nitoe tu general eh, eh, comment kwamba bahati nzuri nimewahi eh, ongera dr noel kwa presentation na wote mliochangia kusema hivi kwamba sera ya elimu inasema kila shule ambayo ameshajibu kiongozi hapo kila shule ya msingi iwe na darasa kwa hiyo tuondoe hiyo confusion kwamba bado hatujawa na stage ya elimu ya awali kuwa shule inayojitegemea bado ni, ni sehemu ya shule ya msingi 
Alafu kuna confusion nimeona. Day care center na nini? Day care center yani kieri, ki, eh, kwa sera ya elimu pre primary tunachukua mtoto kuanzia miaka mimi hii sera ya elimu na mafunzo ya 2014 inasema miaka mitatu mpaka mitano lakini ingawa ni practice tuna bado tuna tu, ni mitano mpaka sita at least one year at least one year of pre primary kwa hiyo kutegemea na maendeleo ya mtoto anaweza kaanza akiwa na miaka mine, mpaka mitano wa sita anaanza primary au anaweza kawa na mwaka mmoja tu kutoka mwaka mmoja akiwa na miaka mitano anasoma mwaka mmoja darasa la sita anaanza primary chini ya hapo hizi day care center ni za wizara ya afya eh. Eh. ni za wizara ya afya kwa hiyo sasa alafu kuhusu usajiri sisi shule za serikali hatusajiri hatusajiri shule ya awali tunasajiri shule ya msingi lakini shule za binafsi tunasajiri tunaweza tukasajiri shule ya awali pekee au tukasajiri shule ya awali na msingi kwa hiyo kuna option mwekezaji anaweza kaamua kuwa na na shule ya awali peke yake au anaweza kuwa na shule ya awali na msingi vimeungana kwa, kwa, kwa upande wa serikali bado tunasajiri shule za ya msingi tu yenye darasa la awali sasa changamoto hizo zote mlizo zijadili tunazifahamu lakini se, lakini serikali tumeanza tumeanza somewhere tuna move kuhusu walimu tunafahamu kabisa kwamba kuna uhaba wa walimu wa elimu ya wale na ndio maana tumeanzisha tumeanzisha kozi sasa kwenye vyo vyetu vya walimu za walimu wa shule ya wale na, na kama wengine walivyochangia vyo vikuu navyo vinaanza kutoa hizo kozi na, na ajira kuhusu ajira siwezi kujibu lakini si tunapeleke tuna tunapeleka mapendekezo kwamba kwa sasa tunahitaji kuwa na walimu wa elimu ya wali ambao tukishawazalisha wengi tutakuwa tunakiwa ajiri wa elimu ya wali kuhusu uh, wazazi kupeleka watoto kwenye shule za bei mbaya E, kama serikali tulianza mchakato wa kuweka unit cost lakini haukufanikiwa tutoe uhuru kwa kama unaona unaweza kupeleka mtoto wa elimu ya wali unamlipia milioni kumi na una uwezo kalipe e, tu, ni, ni, ni soko huria e, kwa, kwa hiyo hiyo serikali haiwezi kuingilia kusema kwamba kwa nini elimu watu wanalipia elimu ya awali bei mbaya serikali imetoa uhuru ni soko huria hakuna eh, unit cost mm. kwa hiyo kwa kifupi serikali inazifahamu changamoto zote mlizozieleza na inaendelea ku improve situation asante sana Thank you very much uh, and we have the uh, the third one here. Asante sana. Ya niungane kumpongeza mwasilishaji lakini naona maswali yote hoja ambazo nilikuwa nimelenga cause respond or may respond wenzangu wa wizara ambalo lilihusu quality assurance limesha elezewa habari ya walimu limeshajibiwa oh, habari ya takwimu nadhani wangekuepo watu wa Tamisemi wangeweza kutusaidia lakini wacha no swala la takwimu kwa linachukuliwa kwa kuna educational census ambayo inafanyika kila mwezi wa tatu mpaka wanne sasa siwezi kujua hizo data walizochukua walichukua katika sosi ipi katika mwaka upi 
na hizo variation nadhani ni swala la system uh, tamisemi ongeza kutusaidia vizuri zaidi kwa sababu mfumo huu uko kwa upande wao asante asante sana Uh, swala la takwimu uh, ningeshauri takwimu unayopaswa kuitumia ni takwimu ya, ya, ya be, best education statistics inayotolewa na na, 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 na na serikali ndio official takwimu uh, kwa hiyo unajua hii nchi ni kubwa mno uh, sasa hizo uh, variations of course mkienda wengi wengi nani zitatokea lakini official takwimu ni ya serikali na, na, na mnafahamu hivi si mnafahamu kuna sheria ya takwimu uh, ukitumia si, takwimu ambazo ni zako tu <laughs> uh, uh, lakini anyway mimi nafikiri wewe chukua takwimu ya serikali inayotolewa na serikali kwa uh, okay. Uh, th thank you very much. Uh, I'll, I'll take again liberty of, rem of asking the people who contributed on behalf of the government to introduce themselves to us so that we know who said, who talked to us. Yes, because uh, some faces, I didn't see them on the first day, so please. I came from the first day, say yesterday I didn't show up because of some inconveniences. My name is Adamson Shimbatano from Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, uh, Special Needs Education. Um, Ningependa pia niulize swali kidogo tu kwa mwezi shaji. Asante sana Dr. Noel. But it seemed some issues of uh, learners with special needs are abandoned. Simply because your presentation, your research, you didn't try to find out how ECE for learners with special needs is going on over there. Maybe if you have forgotten, there are somewhere you will, you will share with us how the, the situation over there, how did you see in, 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 in ECE to learners with special needs? Thank you very much. from the Office of the Commissioner for Education, Minister of, Educa Minister of Education, Science and Technology. Uh, uh, very much. Uh, please, a round of applause to our contributors. Uh, I'll give it to the coordinator now. I think my time is over there yeah. Thank you very much. Um, announcement uh, because we are we are expecting to have our, our so right now we allow some more other uh, concerns on the presentation, and the new presentation will be made after tea. I hope I've made myself clear. Yes, so uh, if there are any other concerns, uh, we can still uh, share. Now, because I've already uh, uh, held the mic, I can have also my concerns as well <laughs> regarding uh, ECE. It is really uh, interesting that we are moving towards uh, seeing that pre-primary education is given some strength and we have recognized that pre-primary education is the base 
And if this is the base, even when you construct your house, much effort is put on the base. Eh? Ule msingi wenyewe. Sasa tunapo angalia elimi yetu ya awali ilivo sasa hivi, tunazo changamoto. Changamoto ya kwanza ni hiyo ya idadi kama tulivuona. Kwa mba pengine wakati fulani, sera inaweza isiende sambamba na maandalizi ya meondomili unabla kusababu ya hali ya kiuchumi na vitu ya namna hiyo. Lakini kuna makundi haya maalumu ambayo ya mezungumza bwana uh, Adamson. Kwa mba, bado katika levo hiyo nayo bado kuna watu wa mahitaji maalum tunahitaji na wenyewe kuwa kuangalia sasa ni swala la kuangalia hizi sehemu zote mbili tunafanyaje kuhusu watoto hawa kwa sababu kwanza watoto wa pre primary wao wana maisha yao ni almost 99% pengine 99.9 wanategemea msaada wa mwalimu yani wao knowledge wanayo kuja nayo ni kidogo tu lakini asilimia kubwa wanamtegemea mwalimu na hivyo basi lazima mwalimu amfikie kila mtoto anapomfundisha sasa wakiwa wengi darasani na kama hivi hakuna teaching assistants kuna uwezekano watoto wengi wakawa wanashinda tu shule lakini wasifikiwe na mwalimu na ndio maana ni afadhali tukatempa sehemu nyingine kulundika wanafunzi university kulundika wanafunzi secondary kwa sababu at least they have that ability to study on their own sio hawa hawa ni lazima tuhakikishe kwamba tutoke na mkakati wa kuhakikisha kwamba kuna kuwa na enough space ya mwalimu kuweza kumattend kila mtoto na ingewezekana tulitakuwa to recruit more teachers kuliko tunavyoweza ku recruit katika level nyingine kwa sababu hii level watoto ni wengi na wanahitaji pengine hata teacher student ratio iweze kuwa minimize yani mwalimu mmoja angalao adilu na wanafunzi wasiozidi 20 yani kuwa na wanafunzi 20 darasani mwalimu anaweza kawamudu lakini kuwa na wanafunzi mia moja. kwa kweli hatujafanya sawa sawa lakini pia nimepita baadhi ya shule ambazo zina hayo madarasa ya awali unakuta watu wameweka madawati jamani shule za watoto wa awali hazihitaji madawati zinahitaji tu sakafu iliyo safi au mekeka au majamvi fulani fulani yani wale watoto hawahitaji madawati sasa sielewi hiyo dhana ya kusema kwamba kila darasa lazima liwe na dawati siju imetoka wapi lakini wale watoto awali wala hatuhitaji madawati kwa hiyo kwa levu hiyo ya madawati cost na kuipungua lakini tujitahidi tu kuhakikisha kwamba yale darasa yamesakafiwa vizuri na pale ambapo tunaona kwamba bado tuna changamoto jamani tu atuwezi kushindwa hata kufanya kutengeneza ile madarasa ya ya tempro eh siku hizi kuna hizi nini hizi kwa sababu watoto hawakae siku nzima shuleni kwa nini tutengeneze kama ma, 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 mahema fulani hivi ambayo yanatengenezwa kwa hizi kama yale manani haya manini tuweka kwenye maharusi kwenye misiba yale maturubai yale eh una uwezo wa kutengeneza lile ambalo halipitishi mwanga mkali kwa hamu watoto na ukaweka yale manguzo ikawa connected lakini hapa chini tukasakafia tukasakafia kila mahali ambapo pako hivyo tukasagua swala la kuja kujenga concrete likaja baadaye lakini na watoto lengo ni kutaka wapate space lazima space iwepo kwa kuacha hivi hivi mpaka tuje tujenge darasa tutakapokuwa tunajenga leo darasa hatutakuwa tunamlega huyo mtoto aliyeingia leo ni mtoto atakayeingia wakati huo wengi watakuwa wameshaathirika kwa hiyo as an interim measure tunatakiwa tuangalie namna tutakavyoweza ku speed up hill lakini wakati huo kwa, kwa speed hiyo tuangalie pia namna tunavyopeleka walimu wa au wataalamu wa ma, watoto wenye mahitaji maalum katika levo hiyo tuone tunafanyaje ili kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wenye mahitaji maalum na wenyewe wanakuwa na opportunity ya kuweza kuandaliwa kama wanavyoandaliwa wenzao hawa ambao tunasema kwamba hawana mahitaji maalum kwa kusema hayo ninashukuru ndio huo ulikuwa ni mchango wangu lakini pia nilikuwa na kanani kadogo kwamba kuna confusion hapa kwa wasimamizi kuna wasimamizi wengine wanacheza sehemu zote mbili unakuta yuko Tamisemi mara yuko huyo yuko nye wizara ya elimu science na teknolojia sasa hapa panaleta kidogo mtafaruku mnapotaka kusema unamsimamia nani na unaripoti kwa nani inaanza kuleta shida lakini hawa watu wa quality assurance hawa tunahitaji sana watusaidie na wapewe uwezo wa kusimamia mambo haya 
sio wao wanakuwa tu ni watu wa wa kunyong'onyea maana sasa hivi wamenyong'onyea zaidi kuliko walivyokuwa kule mwanzo eh yani hawawezi kutoa ripoti kwamba ni kinaendelea au wanaogopa ugopa tu uoga hautufanyi tuwe tuboreshe elimu unaona swala la elimu ni swala la kila mtu wala magufuri sio swala lake wala waziri mkuu sio swala lake ni swala la kila mtanzania ndio maana tunakaa hapa ni swala la kitaifa unaona ndio maana sisi wa Afrika tunakuwa nyuma kwa sababu tumejenga watu wenye nguvu badala ya kujenga taasisi zenye nguvu sasa tukijenga taasisi zenye nguvu manake wote tutaihangaikia taasisi hatutamhangaikia mtu lakini kinachojitokeza sasa hizi watu wanawatumikia watu badala ya kutumikia nchi that's the problem kwa anaogopa kusema kwa sababu boss wake ni mkali atanionaje mimi nikisema hivi kwa sasa tunaogopa watu wakati nchi inaangamia huko tuseme kuhusu nchi tunafanyaje huko na nashukuru rais wetu aliyoko sasa hivi anapenda sana watu wazungumze mambo ya nayo hizo taifa lao hata yeye mwenyewe anahangaika hivi ni katika kujenga taifa sio kuogopa vi mtu vinajiinua kama vi Mungu mtu wakati mwisho wa siku anakufa mbingu hana wala nini hana wewe unamogopa mtu anayekufa kama wewe unataka akupelekewa wewe zungumza mambo usimzungumze mtu sawa sawa stop talking about people talk about issues about the country hutaingia kwenye uchochezi lakini ukizungumza habari za watu kwamba wewe fulani anafanya nini waziri fulani anafanya nini waziri hana miujiza na yeye anahangaika tu unatakiwa wewe umsaidie rais naye anahangaika umtakiwa umsaidie kwa hiyo tunatakiwa tujenge misingi ya kuzungumza issues na kuweza kuzungumza mambo ya taasisi tunachozungumza habari ya health child education na tuzungumzi uwezo wa waziri alioko sasa hivi katika elimu kumaliza matatizo ya pre school au ya primary au level nyingine tunataka tuweke misingi tunafanyaje kuhusu pre primary je hatuwezi tukatengeneza hicho kinachoitwa kwa kidarasa tukaweka hayo matendi kila shule tuka gharama hiyo serikali na uwezo kuna nini wadau tuko hapa tunaweza tukachangia wale wanao deal na mambo ya watoto wanaweza UNICEF tukiwaomba jamani tunataka Dodoma kila shule twende tukaweke matent kwa ajili ya watoto lakini tusakafie kwanza pale chini tu identify kiwanja tusakafie wakati tunajiandaa kujenga jengo tunaweka nani tunaweka tent pale watoto wanasoma wamekaa comfortable wana mwalimu ambaye nimeja kama watoto ni wengi tunawagawa wanakuwa kwenye matent mbalimbali huyu ana attend hawa huyu ana attend hawa kwao wanakuwa na walimu wengi na ndicho walichoweza kufanya wenzetu wa wanani hawa wenzetu wa, wa private private wao wamekuja na mfumo ambao unaangalia una, una, watoto kulingana na uwezo wao ndio maana kuna wanaitwa wanaitwa baby class halafu wana middle halafu wana top sisi tumesema at least hiyo at least imeficha kwamba mtoto anaweza kakaa hapo kwa muda wa miaka zaidi ya mmoja lakini aliyeweza kuwa na speed anaweza kamaliza ndani ya mwaka mmoja kwa hiyo maana kwamba sasa hapa ni lazima tuweke msingi tunatokaje na deliberation yetu tunatoka na suggestion gani kwa serikali leo hii kuhusiana na pre primary education mimi nimekwenda Mwanza nikaenda Iringa nikaenda Tanga nimeona namna ambavyo kweli watu wameitikia kupeleka watoto shule katika ule mfumo wa elimu uh, bila malipo watu wameitikia lakini maandalizi kule sasa ni sisi wataalamu rais alisema anatekeleza yeye katika level ya kwake kama president sisi watendaji technical technocrats ndio tuko hapa sasa tunatakiwa tuanze kuangalia tunafanyaje tunamsaidiaje rais asante sana nafikiri kuna mtaalamu pale anataka ku, kuchukua notes vizuri labda analo la kwake asante karibu nashukuru kwa nafasi e, mimi ni reportua lakini wakati mwingine nikiwa nimekaa nikiona kitu ninaona inapendeza tukishirikiana kwa kazi hii moja ya kitaalamu nilikuwa naangalia best 2018 kutoka kwenye kompyuta yangu kwa kuwa mjadala ulikuwa unaendelea idadi ya watoto wa elimu ya awali kadiri ya takwimu ni milioni moja laki nne na mbili nakubaliana na takwimu ya mmoja wetu aliyesema ni almost 10% around that ya wanafunzi wote lakini uwiano wa mwalimu na mwanafunzi kwa walimu wenye taaluma ni moja kwa mia moja thelathini, lakini kwa walimu wote ni moja kwa mia moja sabina moja kutokana na best e, sasa hili nami ninaliongeza kama input kwa sababu tunapendelea tuone kwamba tunatoka na kitu 
the statistics is alarming the situation is not good kwa hiyo tuone kwamba tunatoka na mkakati gani nimeona tu niitoe mchango wa hilo la kitakwimu kwa kuwa nilikuwa nimekaa kwenye kompyuta ila ningeomba pia niulize kwa sababu washauri wa hali za tamisemi wakubwa wa hata wa rais ni watu wa tamisemi kwamba hali ikoje kuna wakati mikopo ya vioni ilikuwa inatolewa strategically ili kumove certain agenda forward ilikaa ikaonekana watoto wa kike wako nyuma miaka fulani wakawa ni kipaumbele cha mikopo sasa hivi inclusive education na ile childhood education ni, ni serious na zina take e, initiative kwa sasa hivi kwa kiasi kikubwa kwa nini walengo wa mamlaka hizi ambazo tunajua pia wapo wanaona huu uiano ambao ni wa kutisha wanashindwa kupendekeza kama mkakati hata kupitia mfumo wa mkopo ili kiwe kipaumbele hata cha asilimia moja kwa wanaosoma katika maeneo ya elimu ya awali na elimu jumuishi nadhani turudi tuone kwamba vitu vingine vinaweza viwe vinakuepo kimkakati nzuri hususan katika sekta ya elimu Asante. Thank you very much. Uh, I would ask the, um, the special needs, and uh, that would end uh, our session for now. We will go for our tea, and when we come back, we will have presentation from uh, the other presenter. Thank you. Thank you for the question asked about the consideration of special needs in my study. I agree that I did not con concentrate on these special needs, but I was uh, generally considering the ECE in general. His question needs to be considered in the other studies nakubaliana kwamba ni muhimu sana kufanya study hususan ni kuangalia watu wenye mahitaji maalum kwa hiyo hiyo ni ni, ni, ni study ambayo ina ni muhimu ifanyike kwa hiyo nakubaliana na swali lako na ni msisitizo tu kwamba ni muhimu kufanya study ya inayohusiana na na watu wa special needs kwenye isi kuangalia nini kinachoendelea mengine ni mapendekezo otherwise thank you for the comments and thank you for your kind attention asante sana okay thank you ladies and gentlemen let us go for our tea um, and i believe it is in the same place but the coordinating committee will tell us. <laughs>